Hey divers, this is Scuba Talk, and I'm your host, Kiefer. Beginner divers, in the next just about five minutes, you should have a better understanding of when, what, and where to buy your dive equipment. At the end of this show, I'll tell you how you can safely dive without being certified, and you can get free six months of the best dive publication, dive training, because good divers are always learning. Okay, back to our show. First off, how do you know if you're a beginner? Are you certified by a recognized scuba certifying agency? It doesn't really matter what the agency is, as long as it's well recognized. That would be like Patty, Naui, or the YMCA. Go ahead and email me at scubatalk at yahoo.com if you have any questions. Okay, so let's say your answer is, no, I'm not certified, but I've been diving with friends before. Cool, but you should learn enough to dive safely and not rely on your friends. If you're willing to learn safe dive practices, you'll have no trouble getting certified. Okay, that being said, most of us want to be certified as scuba divers. Great. Do I have to be a snorkeler or a skin diver first? I'm not even a good swimmer. Folks, believe me, starfish can't swim and they love the water. So you just need to be excited and curious about scuba diving. Hopefully by this time you'll sign up for a class with a dive center either locally or when you're going on vacation. Try us at South Beach Divers here in Miami Beach. You'll love it. Whoops, that was a shameless plug. Sorry about that. Anyway, awesome. So you're ready for the class. Now I get the question, but I still don't have my dive equipment. So now is when the when in buying dive equipment comes up. Don't show up to class without some basic equipment. It slows the class down and says you're not serious about diving. So now you're going to say, hey, but... Uh, my dive center rents the scuba equipment. Well, that's fine for most of the gear, but folks, you really need to buy yourself the basics, and here comes the what in buying dive equipment. By the basics, I mean snorkel, mask, and a set of scuba fins. This is when I hear, oh, a friend of mine has some gear, I think. If a friend has some equipment, make sure it's in good working order and it fits you before you go to class. Also, if the fins that you or your friend have are snorkel or skin diving fins, uh-uh, they aren't going to work. You're not snorkeling, you're scuba diving. You now need to propel yourself with all your scuba gear through the water. That requires scuba fins. Sometimes I hear, can I use my water ski wetsuit or my surf wetsuit? Sure, if you're going to be in the water that's warm enough. By the way, this is not like water skiing or surfing. You'll be underwater for a length of time. And depending on the depth, it may get cold, even if the surface seems warm. So stick with the rental wetsuit if there is one available. All right, research mask, snorkel, and scuba fins on recommendations from a reputable dive re retailer and the gear should be comfortable and work for you. Believe me, price will not determine how good the equipment works. I've had inexpensive products fit me and work much better than top of the line stuff. A lot has to do with personal preference. So if you don't have your own, the dive ship, excuse me, the dive shop providing the instruction should have some for sale. And if you haven't guessed it already, here's the where in buying dive equipment. As we're getting ready to end this episode, just wanted to briefly thank our sponsor sites. Both are on the web, MiamiFlyingFish.com and YourDiveVideo.com. Miami Flying Fish is dedicated to scuba diving instruction and travel. And YourDiveVideo.com offers video solutions for your diving memories. Okay, back to the where in buying dive equipment. If your dive shop is providing instruction, believe it or not, it's doing it for very little profit. So they need and want to sell you dive gear. It's, all, it's also the best place to buy your basic gear. This way, as you're learning, if something's not working out, you can trade it out for different models and sizes that fit you better. 
South Beach Divers in Miami Beach, Florida, where I instruct, even gives discounts to students taking their courses. Dive shops like South Beach Divers will also allow you to exchange what you've purchased for similar products while you're in their course. Don't go crazy though, you're still learning. Make purchases as you need. Your next stop in the process is an experienced diver and that will be our next episode. So check us regularly for updates at Scuba Talk. All right, that should be about five minutes. As I mentioned in the beginning of the show, you can scuba dive safely without being certified. If you guessed that I was talking about diving with certified friends and buddies without you yourself being certified, nope, you were incorrect. That is not safe and sure to eventually get you or your friends in trouble, hopefully not life-threatening. What I was referring to is the Patty course, Discover Scuba Diving. Patty, spelled P-A-D-I, is the Professional Association of Dive Instructors, and they developed this course for their dive centers. Look up Patty Dive Center near you for more information. Check the web at padi.com. Thanks so much for listening to Scuba Talk, and I hope you email me with some questions for my next episode, Experienced Scuba Divers. If you're interested in some other really great scuba information, send your mailing address details to me at scubatalk at yahoo.com. I will sign you up for six months of free dive training. Dive Training is a monthly magazine for new divers and dive instructors. The, artic- the articles are excellent, And it's a good read for divers at any level. Till next episode, this is Kiefer with Scuba Talk.